All right, I wanted to make this video as like a uh, reminder to you guys to hopefully redeem your uh, special offers that are currently in the store. I was gonna say shard shop. They use the ship cur or shard shop currency. So hopefully you saw Arnold T101's -on -one's post about this about last week. That's how I heard about it. I meant to make my own video, but I just couldn't find the post that he saw that on. He does seem to sometimes have different resources than I have. I don't know where he looks, maybe a different website or something. I usually just go to the forums. So maybe he's going somewhere else besides the forums. I don't effing know, but he knew about this. So I saved up and I was able to buy, there's actually two packs. There's one pack where you are given a free seven star character. And then there's this pack. You can only get the seven star character pack once. And then this pack right here is good for five times. I only had one that I bought because that's all I had for uh, shard uh, ship current. What is this called? Shard <laughs> store currency saved up 13,000. See this packs 5,000 and the other pack is 8,000. Anyways, I had forgotten to record this or maybe not even forgotten. Just didn't even think of recording this. I should have. But I do take tons of screenshots. It's just something I've been doing since I started playing this game back in 2015. <laughs> Anytime I start up a character or anything, I always took a screenshot. Don't really know why, it's just a thing I do. So anyways, I have this screenshot, so here it is. Um, before I redeemed it, this is what it's like when you go in. You know, basically almost every character is an option to be able to unlock at full seven stars. So obviously you're gonna want a character that's kind of either A, rare, not rare, but you know, kind of hard to farm, like maybe it's Marquis, which means B, you'd want a newer character. Like imagine getting like Nisa seven stars, that'd be awesome, brand new character, seven star. Um, or even Rex, the new Rex, or, or Scout Trooper. Let's forget about them, Scout Trooper just came out last week. <laughs> and uh, C, you'd also want to get uh, shards for a character that you don't have seven stars that we then no matter who it is you're making progress um, or D you might want to just get a character unlocked that helps you towards a uh, legendary unlock or whatever like you know maybe get Cal Kestis um, a full seven star unlock of Cal Kestis that, then you're making progress towards the legendary Cal Kestis or maybe get the what's her name right here Fourth one in from the top, right next to Boosh. What's her name? Taryn? Not Taryn. Uh, Darth Talon? Yeah, maybe get her seven star if you don't have her. I don't. That's why I'm saying that. So that way then it's progress towards, um, what the heck's his name? Star Killer. But anyways, of course, when I redeemed this, I just got a piece of crap. Droidica. Like, thanks a lot, CG. I got a relatively basic character that I've had forever and that I have had at Relic 4 forever as well. I know Relic 4 is not that juicy, but all I'm trying to say is it's been relic for like a year, year and a half, and this is what you give me. Thanks, CG. So appreciated. Anyway, there it is, my worthless 330. And then when I went in to uh, redeem one of these, that's the other pack, for 5,000, that you can do five times, which I only had enough for one, I got this. Oh no, maybe I had enough for two. So I got this on the first try, and then I got, oh, did I do it twice? I thought I did it twice, I don't know. Anyways, this picture is just me going to the shard shop just to see how goofy this is and how much this equals. So a character to seven star costed 8,000 currency, but all it's really worth is 5,000. So relatively speaking, CG made their money, you know, if you were to buy this character actually no what is the trade-off ratio i don't know regardless it was eight thousand i paid and i'm only getting this much back to put it back in there so you know i, I lose out on three thousand fifty <laughs> of this currency and then yeah i did do it twice this is what i got on the second time which those what is that droid brains right there that's a much better deal than what i got over here for this computer thing yeah they're both valuable but the droid brains are a little bit more valuable <laughs> What did I get? Oh, I got five Omicrons that time. I only gave me three this time. Rude. Not Omicrons, Omegas. Omicrons are an option, but they have a super low drop rate. It's like 10% or something. But yes, so that is everything I got. So I just want to make this video just as like a way to 
catch everyone's attention and make you aware and remind you, hey, get in there and get your prize. You don't want to miss out on that. Relatively speaking, it's free, sort of. You know, yes, you got to save up um, that currency, your, what is this called? Shard store currency. And yes, it's 8,000 just for the character, but it's doable. You can save up. You can get basically a free character. Um, and yeah, if you have been saving up, then here's your reminder that the thing's active. Go get it. If you didn't know, it's po quite possibly too late for you, unless you have a ridiculous amount of like Galactic War currency saved up or something, Squad Arena. Then go crazy and buy stuff. So then you can just redeem it in here <laughs> and get your relatively speaking free character and or this stuff um there is a chance for this but super low i mean it says it right there five percent for omicron geez i said 10 it's even worse than that five percent yeah droid brain what is it for droid veins i just want to see what like my chances were so 45 percent chance for an omega yeah i only got a lot of those uh 30 for three omega Oh, I see. So I had the 30% chance there, 20% chance for 5. So I got that 20%. That's not bad. Now, if only I got that 5% chance for an Omicron. It doesn't really tell you anything about the droid brains or this one, the gear to keypads. It doesn't say what the odds are for those. Hmm. It's kind of weird. And then each one is a guaranteed Zeta, which I don't need. I got 529. Not that I have a problem collecting them, but I'm just saying, I'm pretty stocked. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's all I got for this one. Um, I do want to say thanks a lot, CG, for hooking me up with something worthless I don't care about. I mean, seriously, here he is. Wait, where is he? Uh, there he is. Like, thanks, CG. Oh, yeah, that's right. I thought Omicron on, too. I've, <laughs> I've got his mods up to six. I mean, he's pretty much beefy. And they're like, here's a free character you don't need. Thanks, CG. Appreciate it. You know, I only have all these you could have helped me out with. Well, those ones are legendaries, but any of these, you know, any of these down here would have been great. Any of them. Maybe not so much from tech on because they're going on seven stars, so I can just farm that. But, you know, Kiati Mundi would have been good. Nisa would have been great. Rex would have been great. BT1 would have been great. Uh. Scout Trooper, just because he's brand new. Hondo. You know, any of them. Nope. Droidica. Thanks. But it's not all bull crap. A lot of people I've heard actually did get good drops. Apparently CG was just rude to me. Like Arnold, if you watch him, he, he did a whale, of fa whale or fail with his second account. And he was able to get a BT-1. Or whatever the heck his name is. That black version of R2. Yeah, BT-1. He got that. And I was looking in the forums, and somebody else got something, uh, oh, I'm assuming they got Rex up. Because they said, oh, I just unlocked Rex at 7 star, so I'm thinking it's because of the pack. It didn't explicitly say that, but the way they phrased it, I'm like, they must have got him from the pack. Because how do you just unlock him at, unless you got that? So, you know, some people, well, seems like a lot of people actually, so far all interactions except for mine have been pretty solid. And, I mean, if you are a newer player, Droidica might not be so terrible for you. For me, it sucks, but if you're a newer player, you've been playing for like a year, a year and a half, Droidica can actually be solid for you to get. You may not have him yet. Where, where can you find him? Let me just see this real quick. Mm, yeah, he's in 8. Section 8B. So, like, he is kind of deep. He is expensive. He's on an expensive no 20 energy. I know when I was a newer player, that was very unattractive. I didn't want to be spending that much on energy. I wanted to stay up in the... Lower areas where energy costs 6 energy, not 20 energy. I mean, battles cost 6 energy, not 20. Well, 12, I guess, for hard nodes, but you know what I mean. So, it would have use there. Just for me, this was such a boring open. Like, seriously, <laughs> all that saving. I, ne I never save my currency. I always spend it because there's always something good in here. You know, I could buy this for all those characters. I could buy this for all those characters. Obviously, you always need this. I could buy this thing. That's why I never save it. There's always something good to buy. And then this time, I do actually save it up, and it's like, oh, here's your Droidica. Thanks. That's why I'd never buy one of those packs. They have these packs in here that they usually sell. Um, I don't know where it is, but it's one of these type of packs where it's like you can unlock a seven-star character, but it's like, yeah, I'm good. 
I'm not going to pay whatever it costs to buy one of those packs, and then all I get is some piece of crap that I already have. You know what I mean? And then I just bought for, you know, let's say 20 bucks something I already have. Like, no thanks. Anyways, I feel like I'm just going on and on and on now talking about nothing. So that's all I had. Just wanted to remind you about the uh, shard ship currency packs. And uh, hopefully you are able to get them and get some good stuff. And yeah, uh, that's all I got. So thanks for checking this out. And until next time, that's it. See ya.